respected students welcome back everyone so today's video is about the top 5 toughest uh, scenario based power bi interview question okay so from that top 5 questions uh, three questions are related to the performance optimization let me highlight you this thing because you all know that in logical scenario based round definitely this question will come and in real time work also the performance optimization is the most crucial and key part of your real time projects okay especially in production part so now let's start with the video but if you are new on our channel make sure to subscribe and press bell icon for all upcoming videos and follow us on instagram okay so the first question which is there uh, this question you might not have heard or anywhere on internet on youtube google anywhere i can guarantee you that and that question is like how you will do the performance optimization of a report at power bi service side okay again i will repeat you how you will do performance optimization of your power bi report at power bi service side okay so see there are uh, three to four things you can do to handle the performance optimization or reduce the loading speed like if it's taking 15 20 seconds then how you can reduce it to 5 to 6 seconds of a uh, loading time with a single user and with concurrent user 10 to 12 seconds now what is the difference between single user and concurrent user okay let me highlight you this thing if any single person is uh, using that uh, power bi report link embedded link or power bi service report link a single person is using at a time that uh, that is known as single user and with concurrent like uh, if 4 uh, to 5 people are concurrently using that link or checking that report then that's a concurrent uh, way of uh, handling or checking the power bi report so you check the performance optimization or loading speed time sing with single user also and with concurrent users also because when you deploy that report in production there are many business stakeholders also that around 40 50 people will be using that report in a day and on single time let's say 4 to 5 people will also use okay so this you have understood so how you will handle so the first thing at power bi service side is that using of data flow theek okay? hai with using of data flow like data flow is let's say power query of power bi service etl at power bi service understand this thing so with data flow you can create data flow and that with the help of data flow you can create a power bi report whether in bi service or bi desktop also okay so the first thing is that with the help of data flow second thing uh, it's a traditional method that whatever report you have publish club that into app okay you know the concept of app in power bi service you can club four five reports also uh, and club and then publish the app with one workspace one app you can create and you can give the app link to your client okay and you have to add that aad azure active directory group there so with the help of app also you can do the third thing which you can do make sure you are using f64 or more than f64 like f28 and all those thing workspace capacity okay because with that if your semantic model size is like 500 600 mb whatever 1 gb also if semantic model data size is there then also it can handle that even with direct query also let me tell you with live connection also but more than f64 shared capacity size workspace should be there okay so it will definitely handle coming to the third point uh, fourth point sorry gateway which is there in that gateway setting make sure that your query catching is enabled so it will enable that query catching so these are the four things which you can do at power bi service side to handle the performance optimization of a power bi report okay first thing is data flow second thing is app third thing is f64 or more shared capacity and the fourth thing is gateway query catching option should be enabled okay so this was the first question coming to the second question uh, see uh, yesterday only on instagram only i have asked this poll like uh, let's say that you have taken a selfie in your mobile okay and then that selfie you have uploaded on your instagram account so now when you have taken that selfie in your mobile so that is power bi desktop or power bi service so now i will tell you when you take selfie in your mobile that is a power bi desktop because that selfie which you have taken that was stored in your local on premises or local your mobile 
and when you uploaded that on instagram so definitely many people saw that whatever your account is public private so your followers saw that and they started liking that image so that is power bi service that is cloud like okay because now many people are looking or checking that photo so the selfie taken in your mobile which is stored in your mobile only that is power bi desktop because you only you are only using it and you only know that photo everything but when you are uploading that on instagram it's like a power bi service many people will see that okay those who are added in workspace same way those who are your followers on instagram so see uh, one more just notification that uh, i have launched my top mat page uh, with around hundreds of bookings are done and career guidance mock interview interview preparation tip everything uh, i am taking if you want to book one on one call you can book uh, link is there in description link and around 4.9 uh, rating is also there okay then so you can book one on uh, one on one call with me coming to third question see uh, this also today only on instagram uh, i have published this poll uh, that which are the two dax functions which will degrade or destroy your power bi report performance in direct query theek okay? hai which are the two dax functions so let me tell you answer for that i will tell that two dax functions also and uh, one more uh, which are there that also i will add so the two dax functions uh, which will destroy performance of power bi report in direct query are filter and all okay filter dax function and all the reason is because with direct query when you uh, means hit the database so that time what it happens like your dax is converted into sql and in that case filter and all which are there if you have gone through the dql commands direct query language command so if select star from table is there okay and in that case when you fetch that it will fetch all the data of the table like whatever table uh, data is having like 4 5 years no filter of any region agent name nothing will be there so it will hold filter hold the data so in that case if you are using filter and all dax function this i am telling from my personal experience uh, when i was using direct query one of my report was taking more than a minute but when i removed this two dax function literally it came to 12 to 15 seconds four times lesser i am telling okay so this has happened with me so with filter and all it will go and filter all the data whatever it is there it will not apply any filter and all those things so with direct query you know that the data is there in database so it will go and hit there if any another issue is also there sometimes uh, many people are using uh, add data lake side and all those things are there a technical issue then also it will give impact so these are the reason why filter and all dax function should be not, not used i have checked in uh, major killer dax studio performance optimizer uh, performance analyzer and uh, even with concurrent testing also with four five users also i have done and then um, compared filter and all with all selected and all those things other uh, dax so it was like one minute earlier and then it came to 12 to 15 seconds okay so filter and all are the two dax function which will destroy the um, performance optimization of direct query and along with that iterator functions which are there like sumx averagex there are also row by row calculation is there so it will also somewhere impact so try to avoid that okay try to avoid coming to the fourth question okay the fourth question is like uh, let's say today's date is 25th december okay today's date is 25th december what is the mtd qtd ytd dates mtd is month to date qtd is quarter to date ytd is year to date what are the start date and end date for the today's date 25th december so mtd will be 1st december to 25th december okay what is mtd month to date so there if your last date is 25th december or today's date is 25th december so in that that particular month first date you will take and from that will be your start date like 1st december to 25th december for qtd now 25th december falls under fourth quarter okay it falls under fourth quarter so now fourth quarter starts in october so qtd will be 1st october to 20. and what will be ytd now definitely you all know that ytd is year uh, year to date so definitely the start of year is of uh, at 1st january so 1st january to 25th december so here what you have observed that if today's date is 25th december 
whether it is MTD, QTD, YTD, the last date will be 25th December only. Only the first start date, okay, they are going to change as per the MTD, QTD and YTD, okay. Coming to fifth question, again, fifth question is of uh, performance optimization. Uh, which one is best in terms of performance optimization, bookmark or page navigation? Again, this personally, I have uh, seen this in my report. Okay. So let me tell you the best is page navigation rather than bookmark because in bookmark, you take current snapshot of the report and let's say pie chart is there on that only bar chart you will keep here. Then here again, different, different uh, uh, visuals, you will overlap one visual or another. Again, you will create four or five bookmarks and on that single page only 10 to 15 visuals will be there. Okay. In case of bookmark on that single page, only 10 to 15 visuals will be there. But in case of page navigation, there will be two different pages in your power BI report. Client will see only one only when he will use it. Okay. But for power BI side. Okay, there will be two pages on on first page five visuals and on second page five visuals. So when uh, uh, even client will switch to that uh, toggle button, whatever we, you have created, it will land to the next page and it will automatically load that five visuals faster. But in bookmark, he will switch in that toggle button, but in that single page only he has to load again that uh, table and even other tables if you have hide it now. Then also it will be the cache and all those things data will be there only. So that's the uh, point why bookmark will take uh, more time uh, to load uh, as compared to page navigation. And somewhere, see I'm not saying that bookmark is very bad, even I have used and you should use that. But my personal experience with, with, if bookmark, with the help of bookmark, if it was taking 10 seconds with page navigation, it took only 7 to 8 seconds to load the page and 2 to 3 seconds are also very important in terms of performance optimization and loading time okay so these were the five questions uh, uh, which were the top one of the means uh, five toughest questions in arabic question which i ask in interview and many other panelists also ask so if you like it make sure to like uh, comment and subscribe if you are and if you have any doubt you can comment it and uh, follow us on social media, especially Instagram and uh, subscribe and press bell icon for all upcoming videos. And thanks everyone for watching till end. Thank you.